I almost feel like these crazy moves, Morgan, are, are obligatory at this point. Oh, it's an IPO? Double it. Why not? Let's talk about Petco. This is the one I want to focus on because I think not all IPOs are created equal. This isn't even the first time it's come public. It's been public three times after getting taken over by a private equity firm each time. We like to call this catch and release, so to speak. So now you've got a company that's raised $817 million, total valuation of $4 billion. They have a ton of debt because, again... It's a private equity retread, uh, and they lost money uh, for the first three quarters of 2020, which in and of itself is not terrible, but it's kind of hard to lose money on $3.6 billion in sales. Not exactly sure how they managed to do it. Uh, the point I would make is, are you buying it just because it's an IPO, or do you really want to be inv invested in Petco? So there are other pet investments out there, pet-related investments out there. I want to show you a couple of them. This is Zoetis, was spun out of Pfizer, gigantic company, deals with animal health, both, um, both farm animals and companion animals, uh, and does very well. Um, and they sell anti-infective vaccines, other health products. So this is one worth looking at. Has already been a big winner, could continue. Here's Chewy. This is probably a better comp. Uh, Chewy is predominantly involved in selling you things for your pet. Red Hot Business, almost a $50 billion market cap. I like this one's positioning on digital a lot more than I like anything that Petco is doing. And then finally, IDEX Labs. This is another pet and animal health play. It's a growth company, distributes diagnostic products, equipment, services, deals with both livestock and pets. Again, gets 38% of its revenue from outside of the U.S. market. So uh, I would just look at some of these other pet plays. I know there's Fresh Pet, et cetera. Yes, it's a hot theme, but is the dollar amount that you have allocated to that hot theme best served in effectively a 30-year-old retailer that's not even the dominant player online in its category, not even the number two? Um, so that's why I would shy away. And by the way, an IPO of 65 percent just doesn't do it for me anymore, Morgan. I don't get out of bed <laughs> for anything less than 100 percent on oh. IPO day. So you're saying woof to woof. I don't know. I personally feel like I'm keeping my local pet co in business with all the fish we're going through. You've got to be a chemist to keep an aquarium going. I mean, maybe yeah, I also just hate me. the, I also do. You're right. I hate the ticker. Uh, uh, Gordon Gecko said uh, it's a dog with fleas. Uh, right? I don't even know why you would go with woof. But all right. Um, but I we do. Wish them but well. to your to your point, though, I mean, we're seeing other names. A firm which went public yesterday doubled in its first day of trading. It's up another 18 percent right now. Yep. You're seeing other names like Dash and Airbnb. Airbnb move higher, too. I mean, it just to your point, it's like 60 percent is very. <laughs> what even is that is? Uh, yeah. All right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.